Hi everybody, so today we're looking at um, acid-based hydrations and it's a maths overview. So basically what that means is I'm going to be looking at what formulas we're using and when we're using them, opposed to actually doing out the maths um, of the equations. And if you do want to see the maths done out completely, you'll see us on the conic flask in the experiment section there on um, under, actually not even the experiment section, under the maths of chemistry, I think it's under. Um, for titrations. So this one here is 2016 and it's on ethanoic acid in vinegar and again we're focusing only on the theory so, or on the maths so we can get rid of A and B so and focus only on C and um, D. So the first one starts off with calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in each 25 centimeter cubed portion. Now the way I see this is I divide it up into two parts. First off I calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide Secondly, I'll put that number of moles into 25 centimeter cubed portions then. Um, so split it up. I think it's the easiest way forward with this. Now, the number of moles. There's only so many formulas we can use for that. And number of moles, the co most common one, I suppose, being the, oh, I'll change, leave as this, being number of moles equals mass over more. And you could do this when you have the mass. And it's typically, you can only do it when you have, for solids. Now, you could do it for some liquids or ice. But again, you need the mass or some density to figure it out or something. So obviously we can figure out the MR. The MR is going to be 40 for NaOH. Um, so hydroxide is a base that you just need to know off by heart. And you can see it here anyhow, with the molecular masses of it. But we have the mass of um, sodium hydroxide. So let's have a read of it. To determine the concentration of ethanoic acid in a sample of vinegar, 25 centimeters cubed of vinegar was diluted to 250 mils. And then it was titrated with previously. So we can get rid of this, all of that so far. All we're focusing in here, on here, which contained 1.2 grams of sodium hydroxide in 500 centimeters cubed. So that's what we're honing in on there. So we have the number of moles and we have the mass there, so to figure it out, and that being 1.2 grams over 40. And when you get the number of moles there, so when you get the number of moles, it will be 0 0.03 moles. Now, it'll be 0 0.03 moles per. 500 mils or centimeters cubed the same thing and um, because you can see here the student dissolved 1.2 grams of sodium hydroxide in 500 centimeters cubed so we're halfway there we have the number of moles but we're asked to get the number of moles in terms of 25 mils okay so we have to figure out how many times does 25 go into 500 okay it'll go into it 20 times so therefore 0 0.03 divided by 20 that would give us our 0 0.0015 moles per 25 centimeters cubed and that's it that's our answer there now um for the first one okay and the second one then is asking us to calculate the number of moles of ethanoic acid per centimeter cubed of diluted vinegar now again break it up into two parts first off let's figure out what the number of moles is and secondly we'll put that into centimeters cubed. Now, if we're looking at it there, we can't use this formula over here for ethanoic acid because if you're reading all of this, doesn't matter, or any of this here, okay, you'll see that there is no mass for ethanoic acid. Now, you could argue, could you use this formula over here? The number of moles equal the molarity times the volume over a thousand and if you do that you can you can see we have volume is fine we can we'll have that um up there somewhere i think it was 18.75 and thousand is grand too and mm -hmm. uh, but the problem is the molarity part of it we don't have the molarity so therefore we can't figure out what the number of moles is okay so there's only one other formula we could really use for this um and that is to find what the molarity is. Because if we can find out what the molarity is, yes, you could put it into this formula here, but there's an easier way of doing it. Because we know molarity equals moles per liter. So therefore, if we got the number of moles or the molarity, all we'd have to do then is divide that by 1,000, because there's a 1,000 centimeters cubed in a liter, and we'll get um, the number of moles of ethanoic acid in every centimeter cubed 
um, of vinegar. So we're actually looking for the molarity um, to start us off with. Now, there's only so many formulas we can use for molarity as well. We could use the formula molarity equals mass per litre over MR, but again, we are still stuck with the problem that we are missing the mass. So there's only one other one we could really do, and that's this one here. And I will do out a key here, and you're familiar enough with it being your V1, M1, N1. So I split it into the two, and I write down my ethanoic acid over here, and I write out my sodium hydroxide over here, and I have three parts to both of them. First one being the volume, so that's the VA. Second one being the molarity, the MA. And final one being the NA, the ratio there. So VB, because the base, MB, and NB. Okay. Now, we're looking for the molarity of ethanoic acid. And the reason being it's ethanoic acid, because we're told in here we're trying to figure out what it is, the number of moles of ethanoic acid. So therefore, we put in our uh, molarity here as our X. We don't know what it is. Now, to be able to do this formula, we need everything else. So that means the volume and the ratio here and the volume molarity and the ratio then for number of moles there. Now, let's have a look. What is the volume of the ethanoic acid? Now, students mix this one up all the time. And to be careful, they'll go over here and they'll see 25 mils of the vinegar is diluted down to 250 mils. Okay, and often they'll use the 25 mils. Okay, but be careful there. That is purely for the dilution factor. Okay, which you would have carried out in your um in your experiment. This um, so just be careful of that it is not the titration figure. So let's go back down over here. On average, eighteen point seven five centimeters cubed of diluted vinegar was. So we have eighteen point seven five centimeters cubed. That is our um, our volume. Grant, and was required to neutralize twenty five mils of sodium hydroxide solution. So twenty five goes over here. We actually don't need the units for this one here. Now, how do we find out what the molarity there is of the ethanoic acid? Well, it's actually not difficult. If we go back over here, see where we have it here, number of moles here is equal to 0 0.03 moles per 500 centimeters cubed. Well, if we convert that into a liter, we'll have it in molarity. So if that if it's 0 0.03 for 500 centimeters cubed, 500 centimeters cubed going into a liter, that's 1,000 um, centimeters cubed twice. So therefore, our molarity of our base, sodium hydroxide, is going to be 0 0.06. It'll be twice as much. Okay. And finally, then, we're looking for a ratio here. And that just goes back up to the equation over here. And you can see it's 1 is to 1. So we can put a 1 here and a 1 here. Just a uh, reminder there that when these guys are the same, you could ignore it then. Okay. If they're the same either side, we can um, leave them out altogether. So you do out your formula there, your VA M A equals B B M B and it becomes M A equals V B M B. This is simple um algebra here now, guys, over V A. And you fill that in and your molarity will equal to I don't know zero point zero eight, I think it is moles per liter. Now remember we're not looking for the moles per litre, we're looking for the moles per centimetres cubed. So very simple. All you do is your 0 0.08 there, divide that by a thousand. Uh, it'll be eight times 10 to the power of minus five moles per centimetres cubed. And that's our answer. So again, starting us off, figuring out what the formula to use there. Well, you can just try the other formulas, like number of moles of mass over MOR, uh, and you would figure out, or you'd figure out that you don't have the mass, or you could have done the other one, the number of moles equals the volume times the molarity over 1,000, but you didn't have the molarity. So there's only so many formulas you could have used. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get rid of all of this, um, so we can do the last part of it. Now, the last part of this is going to have something to do with the original bleach. This is usually the case. So we're asked for the last part there. Find the concentration of ethanoic acid in, of the original vinegar in terms of moles per litre. Now, if we have this in terms of diluted vinegar, and just a reminder, the ethanoic acid for diluted vinegar, uh, for the molarity, equals 0 0.08 moles per litre. 
uh, is a molarity of the diluted vinegar. Now, we're looking for the concentrated vinegar. So how many times, how much, what's that dilution factor? How many, how many times are we diluted by? Well, look at the very start in the sentence here. 25 centimeters cubed was diluted to 250. So we do 250, we divide that by 25. Okay, that's obviously going to be 10. So 10 is our dilution factor. So we diluted it by a factor of 10. So therefore, if we multiply 0 0.08 times 10, we'll get 0 0.8 moles per litre. And this now is going to be of our original vinegar. Which is our answer, what we're looking for there. Okay, now the final part there is as a percentage weight per volume there. Now, there's only one formula you should be thinking of when this comes along, okay? And it's always the same. Your percentage here, weight per volume, is the exact same as getting it in grams per 100 centimeters cubed. That's what you have to do. You have to get into grams per 100 centimeters cubed. Now, and again, this is the original vinegar. So we have the molarity here. There is a formula to get it into grams, and that's your molarity time, or sorry, molarity at yeah, times the MR equals the um equals the mass per liter. So we pop our formula in there, it'll become 0 0.8. Again, if you do the MR out correctly for ethanoic acid, it'll be 60. If you do that out correctly, and you only get 48 grams per liter. Now, it's not per liter we're looking for, it's, it's um, 48 grams per 100 centimeters cubed. So ask yourself this, how many times does 100 go into 1,000? Okay, it'll go into it 10 times. So therefore, we just do our 48, divide that by 10, that'll give us 4.8 grams per 100 centimeters cubed. And this is equivalent to 4.8%, which is our answer at the very end. So that was the equation there, guys. Um, the last one, there's only one equation you should be thinking of, and that's this one here. And it's very common for this type of, um, this type of experiment. And the concentration part there, well, when you're converting anything from the diluted to the, um, to the concentrated, there's no new formulas as such. You, like, you don't need to be doing M1B1, N1 formula again. You just need to be finding out the dilution factor. And yeah, that's it. Now, 2016 was one of them. Uh, it does come up again. And we're going to look at that, um, that question in a moment. Hi, everybody. So we're back to our um, maths overview there. And we're continuing on with ethanoic acid again um, in terms of vinegar. And again, we're just going to focus in on the actual maths. So we're ignoring A, we're ignoring B, and we're ignoring C. So we're only going to focus in on D. Now, D is broken up into a few different parts there. So starting off, we're asked for the moles per liter. And it's the moles per liter of the um of the diluted vinegar. So D part I. Okay, so moles per liter. What formulas can we be using? Well, moles per liter meaning molarity. So we can try this formula here. Molarity equals mass per liter over a or the MR I should say and you'll find quickly that we don't have the mass of ethanoic acid nor do we have the, um, the density to figure out the mass from that so that formula is uh, no good to us okay another formula we could try and that would be your you know your number of moles equals the volume times the molarity over a thousand volume and thousand that's grand oh. Um, there's no issues there, but we can soon figure out that molarity will be a problem. Oh, sorry, not the molarity, we're looking for that. We manipulate this. The number of moles, I should say, is a problem. We don't have number of moles. We can't figure it out either. So there has to be another formula. Well, that goes back to our, um, our key. 
and our key there being um, your M1, V1, N1 um, formula there. So that's what we're going to look at now. So let's start off with that key as I was saying. Little box like that, split it in two, put our ethanoic acid on one side and our, um, our NaOH on the other side. We have three divisions, so that's your, as I was saying, your VA equals, your MA equals, your NA equals, your VB equals, B standing for base, equals NB equals. Again, we're looking for the molarity, so of ethanoic acid, so we can put our X here. We don't know what it is. Now, if we are able to do this formula, or to use this method, we must be given everything else here. Everything else must be there. So let's have a look at what we have. So, if we're reading it, to determine the concentration of ethanoic acid in a sample of vinegar, the vinegar is diluted and then titrated against 25 centimetre cubed of previously standardised 0.1 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. So we're told two pieces of information there. First off, the sodium hydroxide is 25 mils. And secondly, it's going to be a 0 0.1 in terms of molarity. That's what we're told here, that capital M standing for molarity. Now, the volume of the ethanoic acid is still a problem. So let's keep on reading. The three titration figures recorded were 20.9, 20.6 and 20.7 respectively. So we have to get an average. Now, be careful here. We must ignore... Um, 22.9 and the reason being is 22.9 is not within 0 0.1 um, distance of 22.6 or 22.7 they must be within 0 0.1 centimeters cubed from one another so 22.9 is like the rough titration okay so we have the 22.6 and 22.7 what you have to do there is you do your I'll just do it down here very quickly 22.6 plus 22.7 divided by 2, okay? And when you do that, you're going to get up here um, 22.65. Now, our final part there is to figure out what the ratio here is in terms of number of moles. Well, that's an easy part. You just go over here to your equation, which is down here, and you can see here it's 1 is to 1. So you can put a 1 over here and a 1 over here. And if they're the same on both sides, we can actually ignore it then. It doesn't matter anymore. Um, and then you do it out. And if you do it out correctly, like I did in the previous um, uh, example, you'll get your molarity to be, I'll write it down here because we'll need it in a second. You'll get your molarity to be equal to 0 0.11 moles per litre. Now, that's the first part. The second part then is figuring it out in grams per litre. Well, whenever we have the molarity, there's a simple formula to use with this, okay? And that is, and it's, it's a play on the number of moles. So molarity equals the mass, which is measured in grams per liter, over the MOR. So if you manipulate that, it'll just be molarity times the MOR of vinegar equals in mass per liter. So 0 0.11 times 60 if you get out the MOR correctly and you'll get your um you'll get six point what is it six point six grams per liter and that then is our um is our second part of it so we have part i and part i i done now okay that formula over here is a very common one and you just need to know it it's very common for you to be asked once you have the molarity to convert this into grams per liter this equation here isn't worth that many marks because of this. So what we'll do is I'm going to delete these now because I'm going to need space for the rest of us. Um, and we're going to look at um, the next part. And that is state the concentration of ethanoic acid in the original sample in grams per litre. Now, let's take a note again of what it was um, initially. It was 6.6 .6 grams per litre. And that was the... Um, that was the diluted vinegar. So the diluted vinegar. So now we have to figure out what it is in the concentrated vinegar. Now we don't have to be doing all those formulas again. We just have to find out what the, um, the dilution factor is. How much do we dilute it by? So let's go back up to our um, our question over here. It's not actually up here where it's the dilution is talked about. But if you go down to part B here, it says, describe procedure 
for measuring 25 mils of vinegar and diluting it to 250. So that's what they did. So all you have to do is ask yourself, how many times does 25 go into 250? Okay, it's going to go in there 10 times because our, that's our um, dilution factor. So 10 times. So therefore, 6.6 6 times 10, which is going to be 66. Oh, it's messy. 66 grams per liter. And that is of the original vinegar. Okay. Our last part, so, is to figure out what's the story with this in um, percentage um, weight per volume. And I told you before for that. Percentage weight per volume, and it's always the same, guys, is the exact same as measuring it in grams per 100 centimeters cubed. Again, we're still talking about the original vinegar here. Okay, because it says express this concentration, being this one up here, in terms of um, a percentage. So we have this in grams per litre. So how many times does 100 centimetres cubed go into a litre, which is 1,000 centimetres cubed? It goes into it 10 times. So all you're going to have to do there is you're going to do your 66 divided by 10, and you're going to get your 6.6 .6 grams per 100 centimetres cubed, which, of course, is equal to 6.6%, .6 which then is obviously our answer. So you can see it's pretty much identical to the past um, experiment um, on ethanolic acid. So look, that's it for this one. Um, and I hope it helped uh, um, a small bit with you and your...